Welcome back, everybody, to another Patch Notes Breakdown. This time it's going to be for the Protector of the Dead. Anyways, Smite 10.10 .10 update. And this is going to be Mama Brigitte's update. We're finally going to get the new Voodoo God, and she is known as a Mage Assassin. So another, if you're a fan of Al Kuang, probably going to be enjoying this. Everybody that I've seen on the PTS has been loving Mama Brigitte so far. Her passive is Soul Spikes as she hits somebody they get spikes around them if they get five they take burst damage the lower health the more of the burst damage is um and then you have party trick where she uses her rum and she does a fire cone and as after the rum runs, runs out or you cancel the ability you slam it down it does a giant aoe around you that can stun the stun duration is 1.2 seconds the fire damage goes from 8 to 40 slam damage 40 to 200 so that's pretty good i guess i should have mentioned that soul spikes damage caps at 70 percent missing health but that you know doing more damage on people with missing health is kind of good and then our second ability is madam fangs this is if you know how circuit dash works this is similar except it is an actual ability that fires out it goes into gods and they deal 15 percent on the initial damage and enemies that are marked take additional damage anytime mama brigitte uh, damage them afterwards so the initial fangs damage goes from 50 to 150 plus 40 percent of your magical power and the mark is five plus five percent of your magical power that mark lasts for five seconds uh cooldown goes from 13 scaling down to 11 and then i the party trick cooldown is kind of weird it's 14 seconds to six seconds based on the rum remaining so that's going to be one thing to go back and kind of keep track of so you do have that little rum meter uh, so if you read through the patch notes, you're like, what's happening there? It is based off your rum. Your third ability is called Spirit Seas. And this is probably one of the coolest abilities. Uh, Mama Brigitte shrouds herself in ghostly energy as she dashes forward, passing through player maids, walls, and damaging enemies. If she hits an enemy god, she possesses them. Traveling with them and dealing damage every 0.5 seconds for two seconds. Uh, so this is kind of like Nox, except you can dash into an enemy. So you can dash into a Cherno who's ulting and then go where they go. Uh, really, really cool. Mama Brigitte can leave her target early by dashing or canceling to step out. If she remains for the full duration, she will dash out as time expires. It is worth knowing, noting that some people are like, oh, what happens if she dashes into a Nox or a Kleena, and then they dash into somebody or they go into a wall? If you go check out uh, Kitten of Doom's Twitter, she mentions everything that works with that. So you can go check that out. There is a video posted there. Uh, initial hit damage goes from 60 scaling to 180 plus 20% of your magical power. The possession tick damage is 20 scaling to 40 plus 10% of your magical power. And then its cooldown is 16 seconds. The last ability here is the ultimate. It's called Explosion of Souls. And this looks really, really sick. It looks kind of like a spirit bomb, and I'm about that life. Uh, Mama Brigitte gains crowd control immunity, gathers a large orb of spiritual energy that she throws at the target location. Uh, the orb size is determined by the amount of soul orbs that Mama Brigitte has collected through soul spikes. Enemies hit are damaged, knocked up, and receive Madam's Mark for five seconds. Mama Brigitte loses all of the soul orbs after using Explosion of Souls. The radius scales from 16.5 to 24. Uh, as you level it, the damage scales from 160 to 360 plus 85% of your magical power. The cost is 100 mana and the cooldown is 90 seconds. Uh, I've seen her kit. If you haven't went like watched the God Reveal and you want to go check it out with the Lady of Lore, it is really, really good. It seems really interesting. I'm excited to play her. I just think she looks like a lot of fun. So we'll have to see how that ends up going. Obviously, there's some skins to come with that. Uh, she has her you know, regular recolor, ascended recolor, and then the mastery skins. We're also getting a new skin for Marty Chorus. Looks pretty creepy. We have Tabby Toil Ganesha, which I think is just going to be a fun skin in the game. Uh, Achilles, Mama Brigitte's getting a release skin, which I always appreciate. Uh, part of the Festival of Souls, uh, or sorry, Festival of Spirits, uh, along with many of these other skins like Synth Weather Nox, Robot Ratatasker, and then Odyssey, we're getting the Spirit Dancer Pele, Spectacular Changa, and Bionic Bruiser tier. So the Welcome to the Festival of Souls is an event, and you can unlock all those skins above. The reward skin is Marty Chorus, so make sure to check that out. 
Uh, there is bug fixes here. One of them is for spectator. It said fixed a variety of issues with missing or extra geometry around the map in cut down view. Fixed an issue with order side back speed camp spirit totem pad not updating to the correct totem color. And fixed an issue with the in-game notifications and accolade for fire giants not displaying. I really wish what this said that if I'm spectating and then I go to play a game afterwards, it didn't reset my HUD. But unfortunately, that's not what I got here. Uh, they did fix Baba Yaga. We should see her back into comp after this patch, along with some other uh, f bug fixes around the board. In general, they added additional start times to games. Conquest went, or sorry, they changed the additional start times for several modes that have now been reverted. So Conquest goes from 125 seconds to 110 seconds. Joust from 70 to 60. Assault goes 60 to 90. Uh, so that's good. And Slash goes 85 to 75. And Slash, they worked on increasing some gold spooling, XP spooling. They changed some stuff about Apothis with decreasing his health protections and all that fun stuff. They did put new mist deployables have been added to the entrances of the jungle in the side lanes. Players can enter these to hide and ambush their enemies or flee. So Slash does get an update on their map. Uh, there is one for each entrance by the const uh, Constable Blue Buff Camp and one at the center entrance of the Constable Juggernaut Camp. These are present at all times. I think this is going to be really, really cool. So we'll see how that goes. Crimson Spirit Totem, they increased the lifesteal from 7% to 10%. And then, uh, you know, if you like to cook, as I like to say, they did do some things to a few of our items here. Sturdy Stew gets five extra protections. Party Puff, sorry, Party Puff, Party Punch buffed the power scaling from 15% to 30% physical power scaling and 20% magical power scaling and durable jump drumstick. They buffed the damage reduction from 20% to 40%. I think this could be really, really interesting. I think we might see some more durable drumsticks in the future. As far as item changes, breastplate of valor and its glyphs get, uh, you know, some changes, decreased gold cost of the initial and then increased MP5 on each of these. And then they increased the protection stacks on determination from five to seven. And they increased the basic tax damage reduction from 15 to 25% on vigilance. Uh, Rune Forge, along with its glyphs, are getting some things as well. Increased physical power by five. Increased damage buff taken debuff on enemies from 10 to 15%. Uh, for Flame Forge Hammer, the burn damage from 5 to 7% of your protections from items and abilities to 10% plus 8%. I do think Flame Forge released really, really strong. I'd like to see it come back because I think it, you know, nice little switch up to the solo lane along with Rune Breaking Hammer, which I always thought was really, really good. Uh, increased damage taken and dealt debuffs on enemies from 10 to 15%. Works good on a CC gods, especially Achilles. So I'm hoping with Breastplate and uh, Rune Forge getting these buffs, I think both items we'll see more often. Uh, do they, you know, get into the meta? I don't know. I think Breastplate of Valor is more likely, but I do think both sets of items are going to be good. Uh, Atalanta's Blow, they decrease the cost and then increase the power by five. That item is still eh to me. I just can't justify buying it. Uh, Demonic Grip, they increase the magical power by 10 from 55 to 65. Uh, that's actually really, really good. Mage ADCs are kind of on the rise right now, so we'll see how that plays out. Demonic Grip is kind of one of those items I'm like really iffy about on my Mage ADCs, but that's because I like to build a little bit of ability in there. So I think Atalanta's change, we could see some more Atalanta's. Do I think it's meta? No. Demonic Grip, could it you know, kind of fall in there? Maybe. Uh, Fabulous Hoops, they increase the shield health from 3% to 5% of the target's match HP. We'll see how that pans out. Last time, Fabless was pretty strong. I don't know if that happens this time. Um, Achilles gets a buff. They're going to increase his max heals per ability. Combat dodge gets extra damage and mo decreased mana. RDO and, uh, is going to be good again. Energy surge, they increase the cooldown. Heavy charge, increase the damage. Uh, Baron Somity, increase the damage mitigation from 35 to 50% on his ult. Kerberos, Ghastly Breath gives increased protections. Instigiant Torment, increase the damage. He might be better, but probably not. Charybdis decreased the item damage reduction from 30% to 25%, decreased the cooldown from 16 to 12 on cap size, uh, now 14 to 12, which will be nice. I'm a Charybdis fan, so I like both those. Uh, Kakolin, Barb Spear, Ground Sound increased the base damage, and Salmon's Leap increased the base damage. Kakolin kind of has fallen out, but I think we'll come back in. Daji, we haven't seen the meta in a long time. Uh, 1,000 cuts, they increased the damage. Trickster Spirit, they decreased the cooldown, so I think both of those are going to be good. 
Heim Delir might be back. The Vigilant increased the power per stack from 2% to 3%. And Piercing Sight, they decreased the cooldown by 2 seconds. Kumba Karma throwback decreased the cooldown. Groggy Strike increased the damage. The God still won't be played. Lancelot, they actually made his base MP5 from 1.6 to 4.6 because they never caught it since his release. Piercing Thrust, they decreased the cooldown by two seconds. Surter increased uh, damage from Flames of Muspel, which will be nice. It's not too much, but I'd like to see Surter come back. Uh, the Morgan, they had a partial revert. Deadly Aspects increased the damage in Dark Omen, increased, increased the initial base damage and bonus minion damage. The Mana, Umbre Armored Umbrella decreased the cooldown. Umbrella Rang increased the damage. I don't know that this fixes him. Amaterasu decreased uh, attack speed on Divine Presence. She's been really, really strong, so it makes sense. Al Kuang, King of Eastern Seas, increased the cooldown by 10 seconds. Arachne decreased attack speed. Chernabog decreased attack speed. Hebwa increased the cooldown of Atlas of the Yellow River. Kali, Incense decreased the duration. Raijin decreased the base damage and increased cooldown. All those things needed to happen because all those gods were really, really strong as of late. So I think that will kind of bring them back in line. But that's it for Patch Notes Breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Are there gods you want to see buffed? Do you enjoy the new skins? How are you enjoying Season 10 in general? Make sure to go check out the podcast, Up Your Experience, and come and check out, you know, TikToks and the Twitch and YouTube as well. I'll catch you all later. Bye.